I want to talk about something random first. I recently, like maybe one or two days ago, I recently found out that my favorite color is blue. <laughs> I just found that out. Very crazy. Okay. Anyways, some people may have family members who may not serve God. And you may ask me, hey, how can I get these people to serve God? The best way to get your family members to serve God, the best thing to do is to pray for them. And you may say, well, I don't think prayer is going to work. You see, what many people do, not everyone, but what many people do, they may pray about something one, two, three, four times, and if their prayer has not been answered within a week or a month or something like that, maybe a few years, whatever else, they give up. You see, what you should do is continue to pray over and over and over again until you can see with your own eyes your prayers being answered. Does that make any sense? You may have tried talking to your family members about God, and when you do this, they may reject you each time. This is why prayer is important. And you should continue to pray each day about your family members. Myself, most of all of my prayers, I am repeating the same thing over and over and over again. It is like a routine that I go through. Yeah, some days I may forget or I may not pray as long every single day, of course. Not too many people can pray with the same intensity each day. I understand that. <clears throat> I can't either, to be honest. But what you should do is to continue to pray for them. Never stop. It works myself. I was praying for particular family members as well. Guess what? They are making improvements, which, which is very shocking. Very, very shocking. Like, I am shocked. To hear them talk about God and repent and stuff like that, like, if it is possible, my eyes would have gotten, like, this big. <laughs> <laughs> like so huge man I'm serious shocking yes they still need to make more improvements but what I have seen and heard amazing very very amazing and think about this how long did it take you to start serving God did you start serving God just like that of course not not me. It took me <laughs> quite a bit of time. <laughs> How long? Almost my whole life, just about. <laughs> so, you can't really expect a person to get everything right all at one time. Just because you know about God, just because you know the right things to do, even if you tell a person what to do and everything like that, chances are they are not going to choose that or do what you are saying at that time period. So you have to be patient and continue to pray. Don't stop praying. Even if they are showing improvements, continue to pray like myself. They can say God this and God that, but I am still going to pray for them. Makes sense, right? So if your words won't work with your family members, pray for them. There is no sense in arguing and fighting and all of this other stuff with your family members. Why? 
Why do it? It is just going to cause more confusion and a lot of trouble, to be honest. Now, there is going to be a time and a place where you can talk to them about God. So you don't really need to force yourself upon them. Because if you do that, usually it is going to turn out bad. Now, I can see if they are coming over your house or calling you and like, hey, blah, 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 blah. Then everything is on your terms then. If they are contacting you, then you can speak about God anytime, any day. But if you are coming to their home or calling them and stuff like that, you can't really force God upon them like that yeah. unless they are coming to you. Does that make any sense? Like you don't really want to scare people off or really annoy people when you are coming to them. If they are coming to you, hey, <laughs> I am going to talk about God and if you ain't speaking about God, we are going to talk about God, blah, blah, blah. But if you are coming to them, you have to be watchful of what you do and say. Even if you are saying all the right things and telling them to do the right things as well, you just have to be careful. Does that make any sense? So prayer is important and it is powerful. Let me say this, the more you pray, the more that you are obedient to God, which is most important, be obedient to God. The more obedient that you are, the more you pray, the more that you are going to see your prayers answered. Myself, I remember when I was in and out of sin and I would pray, it seemed to me that my prayers was not really answered. But now, when I gave my whole life over to God, man, let me say this, my prayers get answered. Now, don't get me wrong, some of my prayers I have not seen with my eyes. Did I say that right? Some of my prayers I have not seen answered yet. But many of my prayers, yes, they have been answered. And many of the time I receive confirmation that they have been answered, which is amazing. Very, very amazing. So pray. Make sure you repent before you pray. Say, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Once you do that, you are saved then you can pray and God is going to consider your prayer. But God is not going to consider your prayer if you are consistently sinning. So this is why we have to repent each day. Even if we believe that we have done nothing wrong, it is still important to pray anyway. Because even with myself, we can do things that are wrong and we may not have noticed what we are doing is wrong or whatever else. So many of the time, or some of the time, I may even repent three or more times a day. It really depends. Just to make sure, because I want my prayers to be, to be considered each time I pray because I don't want anything to hinder my prayers at all. Does that make any sense? I don't want to confuse anyone because I want everyone's prayers answered as long as they don't go against the Word of God. So don't pray to rob a bank or to kill a person. <laughs> like, God, please kill that person. Kill that person right now. You know, no. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs>
So really take heed to this. Pray. Pray more. I need to pray more myself. Okay. God bless.